Hey loves, what is up? Happy Wednesday. Coming to you live from my car. My uh, boyfriend is also doing a Facebook Live and he has taken over the house. So I'm sitting in my parking lot because I really wanted to jump on and talk to you guys about retail. I can't find a good position for my phone to hold it. This is fine. Okay, so first off, if you guys are watching this live or if you're watching on the replay, leave a comment below so I know. I'm still trying to figure out when is a good time to go live with you guys. Um, and I know everyone's schedules are all over the place and I'm normally not in the salon um, when a lot of you guys are in the salon, so I'm sure that's why I'm missing a lot of you. But if you're watching this, leave a comment below so I know when you're watching it. Um, so yesterday, if you guys looked in the group at all, I did a poll asking about retail and how much you guys are selling on average every week. And um, I recently put out the Six Figure Stylist Goal Tracker, so that should be telling you guys how much retail you are selling every week. And if you aren't tracking it, you really need to be because you can't improve on something if you don't know where you're starting. So. First things first, if you don't have the goal tracker, if you're not setting goals and keeping up with them, um, make sure you find that. If you just search in the group goal tracker, the post will come up and you can just type in your email and it will get sent, it will get sent to you immediately. So make sure you check that out. Um, but for the poll that I did yesterday, I asked you guys on average how much retail you are selling every week and the majority of you fall between the zero and $50 a week average retail sales, which is super, super low. I had tiers going up to 250 and only one um, stylist in the group was selling between 50 and a hundred dollars. Nobody said that they were selling over a hundred dollars in retail every week. Hey Leah, I want to hang out with you soon, by the way, Leah. So message me and let's set up like drinks or a lunch date or something soon. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so no, no one said that they're selling more than $100 in retail a week. And I think that's really troubling. Like retail is a huge part of our business and it can make you a ton of extra cash behind the chair. So if you guys, if we start selling over a hundred dollars in retail a week, let's see, there's 52 weeks in a year. If you're selling a hundred dollars in retail every week, that's going to add over $5,000 to your income every year. If you are selling over $200 in retail a week, that will add $10,000 to your income. So it's super duper important that you guys are selling as much retail as possible. Um, your clients, they will buy from you. You just have to know what to say. None of us want to sound salesy. None of us want to sound pushy. And I'm, I don't want you to sound like a car salesman and feel like you're making your clients uncomfortable. But there are a few things that I've recently found out that you can say to your clients when you're pitching retail that just sound like normal conversation. It doesn't sound salesy and your clients won't feel weirded out or uncomfortable, but they are sales triggers. So if you guys know me in person, um, you probably know my boyfriend and he actually does sales writing. So if you saw my live a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about the goal tracker, I actually went over my goal tracker with you guys, my sales from uh, one of my previous weeks. And I was like startled to find out that I had sold no retail that week. And it was actually like really embarrassing for me to show you guys that I wasn't killing it like I thought I was, but um, I like being totally transparent with you and I wasn't selling any retail at all. I was honestly like shocked to find that out. So after I realized how poorly I was doing on my sales, I asked my boyfriend, um, what can I say that will incentivize my clients to buy? Like, what can I say that will let them know how important the retail is, is for them without sounding just pushy or like I'm just m like money hungry, you know? So he told me these four super easy emotional triggers that you can say in your, in your script when you're pitching your retail that will emotionally trigger the clients to buy. So today I'm going to share these four emotional triggers with you and you can use all of them in your conversation when you're pitching your retail, but even one of them will really boost your 
retail sales. You'll see a difference from it. Um, so the four things that you need to say when you're pitching your retail is you need to make the product sound new, easy, safe, and big. Those are the four. New, easy, safe, big. So a little mnemonic that you can use to keep track of that is NESB. N-E-S-B. New, easy, safe, big. Repeat that like over and over and over until it's like ingrained in your mind because these triggers will boost your retail sales. Um, and I tried it before I wanted to share it with you guys. So I went from that $0 week, my week after was over $100 in retail sales. So this works. Like my sales went up by 100%, over 100%, guys, just from using these four triggers. So I'm going to go over and just kind of explain um, what each one does and give you an example of how you can work it in. So let's start with new. We'll start at the beginning. So if you can make a product sound new, this will give your clients hope. One of the main objections to clients buying retail is that they've bought a salon product before, they paid a lot of money for it, and it didn't work. So now they're a little overly cautious. They don't want to pay money for a salon product again because they tried it before and it didn't work. So if you can convince your client that this product that you're showing them is new, it gives them hope. Like, this is a new product. This time it can work for me. So this is one of the main ones that I've been using in my salon. Um, and I, when I'm talking about product, when I'm styling the hair, I'll say something like, this is the texture spray from the uh, Mika line. I just brought it into my salon. It's totally new in here and I love it. And then just them hearing that it's new and you brought it in because it was that good, I've sold out of, I can't keep this texture spray on my shelf anymore. Like I keep buying some and then selling it immediately the next day. So any way that you can pitch a product as new, even if it's not something that you just brought into the salon, you can say it's just been reformulated. Something that will let the clients know this is not the same old product that you are usually selling. This is not the same old product that they've tried on their hair before. This is new and it will work for their hair because it is new. So that one has been huge for me. That is the first one that I normally go to in my retail pitch. Um, so moving on after new, it is easy. And this is the one, I couple this with new a lot. Uh, new and easy are the ones that I normally talk about the most with my clients. So easy will be, an, okay, let's say another client's objection would be, well, I don't know how to style my hair. I don't want to pay all this money for a product because I don't know how to do it. I'm not that kind of girl that will style her hair and it just seems too, it's too hard to learn. I don't want to take the time to learn. So if you can make the product seem easy, easy to use, there's no learning curve, it takes away that objection immediately. So I will normally word something like, um, I just brought in this new line. I'm totally in love with it. It's amazing for the hair and it's so easy to use. All you do is just spray it in your hair at the end and you're good to go. There's no learning curve. There's no weird steps that you have to take. Spray it in the hair, you're done. All of my clients are like, wow, even I could do that. If I just have my hair, I just spray in the product and I'm done. Again, I use that a lot for the, um, the new Amika texture spray that I'm using in the salon, um, but it's also worked with heat protectants and um, serums um, shampoos and conditioners, like obviously that's easy to use, but if you tell someone this shampoo is easy, you just wash your hair with it. They're like, okay, I can do that. And <laughs> I seriously cannot keep this stuff on my shelves now, guys. Like the same, even the same retail that I've had in my salon forever, I can tell the clients the benefits all day long. But if you just tell them it's easy, they're like, okay, I can do it. So new and easy are the ones that I am normally uh, kind of, they're like my go-tos right now. And just by adding in these two, I've already seen like a 100% boost in my retail sales. But the other two are ones that I want to start working in a little bit more as well to see what I can do with that. Um, so there's new easy that we've covered. The next one is safe. So safe is basically giving a client a guarantee that this product is going to be good. And a good way to portray safe is by giving like a testimonial or letting them know that other people have had success with it. 
So you could pitch it like um, if you want to sell the new Olaplex treatment, um, the take-home Olaplex, you could say. This will work so great for your hair. It will really give you the strength that you need. Even JLo is using it. And if they hear someone that they know that they're like totally aware of, not some nameless person, but JLo, if JLo's using it, <laughs> if J I got too excited. If JLo's using it, it's got to be good for me. Seriously. So that's, uh, that's kind of my goal for this week is to work big or I'm sorry, is to work safe in there and kind of do a little bit of name dropping like that and let clients know that it has been tried and tested. And if JLo is using it, it's got to be good for you. Right? Okay. So that one is safe. And then last it is big. So big is a way to really just like pitch it to your clients, you know, like let them know how good of a product this is going to be. You're so welcome, Allie. Thank you for watching my live. <laughs> I'm excited you're here. Um, so big is going to be, um, giving them like a big promise. So you can say Olaplex will make your hair 10 times stronger than it is before I put this color on. Wait, did I say that right? <laughs> Olaplex will make your hair 10 times stronger after I put the color on than it was before. It'll be 10 times stronger than your hair was before you even got the chemical service. And your clients will be like, holy shit, I have to have this. If it's something that can make my hair 10 times stronger, yeah, I want it. That sounds big and exciting. Do it, Georgia. Let me know how it works out for you. I'll keep my fingers crossed that you make a ton of money in retail. I believe that you can do it. Um, so yeah, that is big. Anytime that you're giving a big promise to your clients. So you can say something like, um, your hair will be 10 times stronger. It will be three times silkier. It will be, I feel like numbers work really well with big. Um, so yeah, and you don't want to say something like, too over the top. You don't want to sound like, or give them any reason to not believe you be like, well, my hair can't really be 2000 times uh, shinier than it is right now. So say something that is believable, but still big. Um, so yeah, I feel like, uh, the Olaplex example saying it will be 10 times stronger. That's a really good one. Um, but yeah, anything like that, anything that your hair will be better after you use this. So if it's stronger, shinier, healthier, straighter, curlier, thicker, whatever. Um, just say something that will let your clients know how big of an opportunity it is for them. So the ones, like I said, the ones that I've been using and I've already seen a huge, huge, massive boost in my retail sales have been new and easy. Uh, this coming up week in the salon, I'm going to try to incorporate safe and big in there as well. Um, so let me know what you guys try. Um, I feel like if you at least let them know one or two, um, give them one or two of the triggers, you'll get retail sales from it for sure. But I feel like if we can work all three or even four in there, we'll be making some killer money this year, guys. Um, so let me know if you guys try these triggers this week. I really hope you do because I guarantee you, you will be getting um, a boost in your sales from it. And it's super it's just easy. It's just like a good conversation and it doesn't sound like cheesy or scripted or anything. You're just telling your clients that this is a new product. It's super easy to use. JLo loves it and it's going to make your hair three times stronger than it is right now. Easy peasy guys. I believe in you and you're going to kick some ass this week. So like I said, let me know in the comments when you guys watch this so I can figure out, um, Leah, do it, dude. It's nuts. Like I have had to go to salon centric like three times this week to buy more retail because I keep running out of everything. Um, so let me know when you guys watch this video, let me know which of the four triggers you try this week. Again, they are new, easy, safe, and big. Nespy is a little mnemonic that you can use to, uh, kind of remember that when you are pitching your retail to the clients. Um, but yeah, let me know how it works for you guys. And I hope you all have an awesome week.